Hello there, all you lovely people out there. My name is Barry. I'm here at Rimmer's Music in Blackpool. And today, it's a Saturday. It's a bank holiday weekend. How good is that, eh? How often do we get bank holiday weekends? Let's make the most of it, eh? And it's not raining yet either, which is always good. Well, it's not raining yet here, but there's time yet. Anyway, without further ado, what's this I hear you cry? Well, it's a piano. It is a Yamaha U3 upright piano. It's a second-hand instrument that we've just taken in part exchange. And I just wanted to do a quick video, or as quick as I can do, to show you exactly what it's like and how good it is. Now then, it's made in 1978, Japanese made in the Hamamatsu factory in Japan. That's where all of their top instruments are born, and this is no exception. It really is a fantastic piano. Now then, it needs tuning. It hasn't been tuned, it's just arrived with us. So we will check it, we will tune it before it goes out. But, did I tell you the year? I don't know if I told you the year. It's 1978. Now then, the dimensions of the piano are, it's 154 centimetres wide, it's 65 centimetres deep, and the height of it is 130 centimetres, okay? So you get your tape measure out, find somewhere to put it, move all the furniture around, you know how it goes. So without further ado, before I give you a tour around the piano, um, let's just have a listen to how it sounds. So, see what you think. So, there you go, very, very quick demo of how the piano sounds. So, let's move now straight to another video and have a tour around the instrument so you can have a good look around it for yourself. Okay, so this is the quick tour of the uh, U's Yamaha U3 piano that we currently have at Blackpool store. Um, just giving you a quick uh, tour, basically. Um, so, let's just have a look over to the right-hand side. As you can see, the front of it looks really, really nice. U3 piano is an absolutely stunning piano, absolutely stunning. We're in fluorescent lights here, so at home it will look a little bit a bit darker, as you can imagine. But let's uh, move over to the right-hand side here. Uh, as we've mentioned, there are some marks on it, uh, little things like this here, little chips and things like that. Um, but it's a used piano at the end of the day, so you've got to expect that there may be marks and little scratches and things like that. Uh, but they're not anything to really worry about. Uh, just have a look there. Now, on the right-hand cheek there, it's not quite as polished as the rest of the piano. It's clean, but it's not quite as shiny as the rest, but just something that you might be interested to know. Just have a look at the top there. Again, there are marks, skate marks, things. It's polished ebony finish, so uh, you can expect with these sorts of finishes, over time, over a number of years, they're going to develop some marks on them. Uh, just moving over to the left side now and we'll just pan down just so you can have a good look at the side of it there it is a mirror finish so it's very hard you can see me there look hello <laughs> just move down the left side of the instrument onto the left cheek same as the right cheek uh, there is a little bit of uh what's the, don't know, the name is really you know what you call it it's just not quite as shiny as the rest of the piano uh, but nothing to really worry about i don't think you'll be really looking at that part of the piano anyway uh, you'll be playing it, won't you? You'll be enjoying it. Um, moving down, there is uh, what looks like a little mark there. And then we've got dust. Just put finger marks on it now. Look, trust me. Just move down, is that a little mark there? So, there, yeah, there are marks generally around the piano. So I can't obviously cover them all, unfortunately. Uh, but just expect that there are marks and scratches over the instrument, consistent with... A used instrument. Uh, we'll just have a look at the front there, down at the bottom, right there. Just have a look, have a look at the pedals. Okay, uh, the middle one there it locks down. It's great for practicing at night, quietens the instrument right down. It's brilliant. That let's move over to the right hand side and then we'll just whiz round to the back here. 
at that, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, pretty clean at the back. And then we'll just go back round the front again. We'll lift the lid up just so you can have a look. It's like, da da. There you go. Where is it? Rest. We'll pan around the keys. Just bits of dust, look. Trust me, bits of dust. <laughs> what am I like? Now I've cleaned it, but. Okay, and now we'll just have a quick look in the top, lift the lid up, you can see the serial number right there, nice and clean inside, very clean inside. But these pianos are built incredibly well, Japanese built pianos, uh, nothing but the best quality components, uh, they last a lifetime, they really do, multiple lifetimes even. And let's just close that back up and then we'll do the... It'll zoom out. I'll probably just trip over now. <laughs> Start again. Okay, so there you go. Uh, second hand Yamaha. Oh, just a minute before I forget. I forgot about this. Uh, it includes this rise and fall adjustable duet bench that also has music storage in it. What about that? That's something you don't see every day. Now to buy these, I don't know how much they are actually, but they are not cheap at all. But look at that, that comes with the piano. A double rise and fall adjustable bench. Okay, so that's it. That's the quick tour around this second hand Yamaha U3. I hope you enjoyed it. Speak to you soon. Bye now. Okay, so you've had a good look around the instrument. As I mentioned on the video, it includes this rise and fall duet still really wide adjustable still that's got music storage in it as well and they don't come cheap when you're buying them and that's included with this piano so it makes it an even better deal than it already is so i hope you like this hopefully short video on this second hand yamaha u3 that we've currently got available um, for more information do check the link in the description below uh, and until next time my name's barry i hope you have a good weekend make the most of the bank holiday get the barbecue out until next time I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.